and Wendy and welcome back to another episode of Enjoying the Journey. If you're searching for the ultimate memorable itinerary in Seoul, stay tuned. I have seven tips for you. If you're looking for a truly unique experience, try the Meerkat Friends Cafe. Here you'll find a lot of different animals from cats to foxes, raccoons, wallabies, as well as this little furry guy that I'm not quite sure who, what he is. But what I'm here to see are the star of the show, the meerkats. You'll have a trainer that will tell you everything that you need to know and even stay in the room with you while the meerkats and you get acclimated one to the other. You have to remove all necklaces and earrings and empty out your pockets. But you can see here that the meerkats truly enjoy a nice stomach rub. I was having a blast here. Next up on your itinerary is food. BHC is a chain of restaurants all over Seoul where you can find really juicy fried chicken. We're here when the restaurant uh, just opened for the day. You can order sitting at the table your food comes out hot and fresh, but I'll be honest with you, I felt like it was a little light on the seasoning. Uh, I really missed that. So for me, I would highly recommend the next spot. It's called Naked Wings. Guys, this food is so good. They have a lot of different flavors. Um, everything here is delicious and the cocktails are amazing. Sticking with <laughs> liquor, um, you have the Korean Liquor Museum. It's called a school gallery. It's directly across the street from the Korean Supreme Court because it was a little hard to find. So I thought it would be helpful if I showed you this building here so you would know uh, about where to come. You can even put this into your app to be able to find it. This place is subsidized by the Ministry of Agriculture. If you arrive early like I did, they have a cafe where you can order some snacks and drinks. And then you can take a tour around the facility to look at all of the traditional Korean liquors, where they're made and what the ingredients are. Everything is in Korean and English, so it's really easy to follow. When your tour starts, you can opt for an English tour and you'll be served four drinks each participant gets their own little place here and you'll be introduced to four different types of liquor where they explain everything where it comes from and you get to taste um, so it's a really cool experience next up i just don't think you can go to seoul without going for a 35 minute drive north to the dmz zone um, we went with a tour guide this observation deck was the one that was open due to the issues that they've had with North Korea lately dumping the trash over the border. So here's this huge auditorium that you'll come in and they'll give you a brief history about the Korean War. We had an amazing um, tour guide that explained all of the monuments, all of the statues that were around the, um, the DMZ area. They even talk to you about the comfort women. And if you want to get some North Korean money, this is the only place in South Korea you can get it. But please bring a physical credit card to be able to purchase that money. Next up is the Hanok Village. Uh, this is where the traditional Korean houses are located. I think it's worth going there for maybe a half a day you'll find some of the homes have been turned into commercial. So this is a little cafe that you'll find up the hill, but this is in someone's actual home that you're seeing here. And these homes are just stunning. Uh, I will say that you want to make sure that you are respectful of the area because people actually live here. So keep your voices down while you're walking around and all around this village, you'll be able to find a cafe where you can get something to drink. Next, I hopped on a community bus. This is a really small bus that's subsidized by the government. Um, it's so hot outside, but it's nice and cool on the bus. And you can take these to each stop in that community. So you can stop and go to the different independent shops, which were really cool. Um, we actually stopped at one of the Olive Youngs. These are 
cosmetic stores that are all over the city. I swear it felt like it was one every two or three feet. Um, we went inside because I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what it looked like in here. I don't necessarily wear um, makeup and stuff, so I went in to find some facial cleanser. And yes, everything is in Korean, but don't worry. Use Google Chrome and put this website in and it'll translate everything into English for you. So when you go in the store, you will know exactly what you wanna get. I will admit the Korean cosmetics are probably the best in the world, especially the sunscreen. So I think that going to an Olive Young is something that you definitely wanna do while you're in Seoul. And finally, don't forget to relax and enjoy. Find a coffee shop anywhere around the city. This is a, another big box retailer. Go inside. Um, you can look at the pictures and be able to order a beverage. It's really nice and cool. It gives you some relief from the sun. And just sit back and take some time to relax and enjoy your holiday. It's not about trying to see everything but it is about the simple things like sitting and watching life go by so i encourage each and every one of you don't pack your itinerary too tight leave some time for you to just sit enjoy and relax thanks for watching